January 22nd, 2015, my son Grant was working in a quick trip in Mesa, Arizona. An illegal alien came in, dumped a jar of change out on the counter and wanted to buy a pack of cigarettes. Grant went to start counting the change. The man said, what, you're not going to give me my cigarettes? Grant said, hey, I, I got to count your change. At that moment, this man produced a gun. Grant did everything he was supposed to do. Grant gave him the cigarettes. And as soon as Grant did, this illegal alien shot my son in the face, killing him instantly. He then stepped over Grant's body, grabbed a couple more packs of cigarettes, stepped back over Grant and, and turned and looked at my son. He wanted to make sure he was dead because if he wasn't, he was gonna shoot him again. These are stories that are happening every single day. As reported by North Carolina Fire, since 2013, there have been over 8,500 sexual assaults against children committed by illegal aliens. 90% of our, our heroin and fentanyl is coming across our su southern border, and 78% of that number is coming across in Arizona, where we're from. 70,000 people a year are overdosing from heroin laced with fentanyl. How many more people need to die? How many more people need to overdose for, for Pelosi to come to the table and, and do her job? How many people need to die for, for Ocasio-Cortez to stop her ridic ridiculous rhetoric about concentration camps? Marianne and I have been fighting for a long time. Our children are worth it. And Marianne's right, it's blood on their hands. And I'm honored to be with these gentlemen because they're fighting for us and they're fighting for you. You know, I, I, made a, I made a promise right after Grant died that I was gonna keep fighting for Grant, fighting for the American people. And what the American people don't understand is it's gonna happen to, to them or to somebody they know at this point with so many people coming across our border. If the Democrats wanna have so much contempt for our president that they won't come to the table, well then guess what, I've got contempt for them.